Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing the first episode of Start Bench Cut that I have done on this channel in a while. I haven't done Start Bench Cut in legitimately like two months. I think the last one I did was episode eight, so this would be episode nine, I guess, but haven't done it in a while, but I've gotten a couple comments recently asking about Start Bench Cut and uh, got a good amount of engagements um, and responses on this tweet in about an hour, so i um, got a good amount of options for this video, so I'm gonna put this one together and hopefully it's interesting to y'all who are wondering some of these questions so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado we got 20 responses here to go through and give y'all my opinion on starting with mace who says rice dr j and Kawhi. see the thing is anything that includes glenn rice glenn rice is going to be the automatic start i'm just going to start this video by saying that now the other two are super close. Dr. J is amazing, as is Kawhi. The reason I personally think Dr. J is a slightly better card and would go start Glenn, bench Dr. J, cut Kawhi, is because um, Dr. J's release, I personally believe, is a little bit better than Kawhi's. Movement-wise, they're about the same. Um, I like the, I mean, they both have pro two fade. They're very similar. It really is mainly the release. And I also think Dr. J's player build might be a little better. Dunk animations might be a little better as a whole. I just think he's a slightly better card. Um, so with that being said, all three of these guys can play together. You can play Dr. J at the two, rise at the three and bring Kawhi off the bench. Go Glenn and Kawhi starting together and Dr. J at the backup two. However you want to do it. You can use all three of those cards for sure. Um, Nate has Eddie Jones, SGA and Clyde and is wondering about starting benching or cutting at the point guard position pretty easily i think start clyde bench shea and cut eddie jones eddie jones is a good card but i think pretty much everybody's point guard duo at this point is going to likely be clyde jexler and shea gilgis alexander for most teams because both of those cards are free and both of those cards are phenomenal it just makes sense you're gonna see a lot of those two in lineups pippen jimmy and tatum at the three for me personally, I think Jimmy has the worst release of the three. That is the most important thing to me. I think Pippen is the most is the best defender as well. And I think he and Tatum both have very similar releases. Both of them are pro two fade. Neither of them are truly elite primary ball handlers. They do a lot of things very similarly. I think Tim, Pippen is a little bit better defensively. And they give you about the same thing offensively. So I'm starting Pippen, benching Tatum, and cutting Jimmy Butler. Um, Boban says, start bench cut shooting guard small forward edition. Julius, whoa, this is a lot of cards. Uh, who plays the two? Who plays the three? Who stays home? This is not exactly start bench cut with three cards but it'll work start glenn start john isaac bench julius irving bench Kawhi leonard there you go um starting glenn at the two john isaac at the three benching julius irving benching Kawhi leonard to answer your question and then cutting jason tatum that's what your question is so hopefully that answers it properly corver clyde jimmy butler at the two uh at the two i actually don't hate clyde at the two over both of these guys i will say um this is one of those things if you have too many free point guards and you don't have as much depth at your shooting guard position you can use a guy like clyde at the point guard position and use cards like sga eddie jones gilbert gilbert arenas at point guard even drew, drew holiday all those types of cards you could use at point guard and then you can use a guy like glenn or even or a guy like clyde or even a guy like sga if you want to at the two if you don't have as good shooting guards but to me out of these three guys i'm starting clyde benching Benching Corver and cutting Jim. Ah, that's that feels wrong, honestly. I think Jimmy's better defensively. He's better as an athlete. He has better all around badness. Corver just has a much better release. At the two, I'm starting Clyde, benching Corver and cutting Jimmy. It feels wrong, but I'm doing it. I'm not gonna lie. I think Corver's that good. Um, Clyde Gilbert and Eddie Jones. Definitely starting Clyde, no doubt about it. Um, Eddie Jones and Gilbert are close. I think Eddie has a little bit better size, um, a little bit better sigs. Gilbert has a better release. Honestly, that one's pretty close to opinion, but for me, I think I'm starting Clyde, benching Eddie Jones, and cutting Gilbert Arenas. Um, Snee has Jason Tatum, Garrett Gerald Wallace, and Paulo Boncaro at the three. Hmm. I think I'm starting Tatum. Assuming you're talking about Dark Matter Tatum. If you're talking about Opal Tatum, I'm cutting Tatum 100% if, if you're talking about the Opal. But Dark Matter Tatum is much better than the Opal. I think starting Dark Matter Tatum, benching Paulo, and cutting Gerald Wallace probably. Paulo has more size. They're both good defenders. Paulo's going to be, I think, a little more impactful offensively as well. He has, I think, a little bit better shoot. I don't know. I think I'm convincing Paulo and cutting Joe Wallace the three. Uh, All-star LeBron, Dishinger, and Opal Peja at the three. That one's tough. Terry Dishinger is best shot creator of the three. If you have a couple of extra defensive badges like clamps added on Hoff, uh, I think you're starting Terry, benching Peja, and cutting LeBron personally. As good as that All-star LeBron is, Peja's release is better, and he's 6'10". He's not the shot creator that LeBron is, nor is he probably quite as much of a lock, but he's a 6'10 versatile of a defender who's really complete stat bad wise and has an absolutely top-tier elite release and shoots the ball incredibly well. So probably starting Terry still, though, I would say, if you have him badged up a little bit more. 
Um, Victor, Artis, and Sabonis. That one's easily start Artis, bench Sabonis, and cut Victor. That one I don't think is close. Gilbert, Clyde, and Harden also is not that close. Start Clyde, bench Gilbert, cut Harden. Those are easy. Julius, JT, and Kawhi, all dark matters. I'm starting Dr. J, mentioned Kawhi, cutting Julius T or Jason Tatum. All three of those cards are very good. I just think Kawhi is a better version of Tatum. Um, he moves better, and he's just as good defensively, just as good of a fade, just as good of a release, in my opinion, or about as good as a release. You could say Tatum is a little better, maybe, and Dr. J is just better than both of those cards, in my personal opinion. Not by a ton, like I said, but I do like Dr. J over Kawhi. Glenn Rota, Ron Artest, and Clyde. I'm starting Glenn benching... At the two, I think I'm benching Ron and cutting Clyde, probably. As good as Clyde is, I, I like. I feel like you almost just need to slide Clyde to point guard. He's the best point guard in the game. If you have Glenn and Ron Artest, what you really need to do is put Glenn at the two, Ron at the backup two, and Clyde at the one, SGA or whoever you have backup one. That's what you should do. But if you don't have that set up, you could also go Glenn at the two, Artest at the three, Clyde at the backup two. All three of these guys should be in your lineup, though, if you have them, 100%. Um, so definitely find a way to make sure you have all three of those guys in your squad. Uh, Pro Pass SGA, Dark Matter D-Book, Arenas, Eddie Jones, and Clyde. I mean, that's all the, that's half the good point guards in the game. That's mo pretty much all the good point guards in the game. But again, I think I'm starting Clyde and benching SGA and cutting everybody else to point guard position. Like that's, that's the, in my opinion though, in the order of how much, how good they are, it's probably Clyde, SGA, Eddie Jones, Arenas, D-Book in that order. Although Arenas and Eddie Jones, like I said, are super close. My opinion on that literally might change in the next few days. Um, Wimby, Artis, and Sabonis. I already answered that one. Start Artis, bench Sabonis, and cut Wimby. Artis is way better than those two guys though, easily. Um... Glenn Rice, Corver, and Drexler. Again, starting Glenn, uh, benching Drexler, cutting Corver. Corver's good, but he's not Clyde Drexler level. Um, just if you could, though, put Glenn Drexler at PG. Maybe you start Corver. Depends who your point guards are, but that might be a better, smarter option. Uh, Markinen, Stojakovic, and Stoudemire. I'm starting Stojakovic, benching Markinen, and cutting Stoudemire. I understand Amari is more complete than Larry Markinen, both stat and badge wise, but his release is not nearly as good as Markinen's. And to me, at the three or the four, that is a little more important to me with the way that I play. If you don't care as much about the release speed, maybe you bring Stoudemire over Markkinen. But either way, I do think Stoyakovich is better than both, personally. Um, Eaton, Artisans, or Arvidas? I'm starting... See, this one's tough, actually. I'm benching... I'm, I'll tell you this. I'm cutting Arvidas, 100%. Eaton and Artis are close. I really, really, really like Artis, but Eaton is a little bit bigger. Uh, I think release-wise, they're honestly relatively similar um, in terms of their ability to shoot the ball. They're going to give you about the same thing. They're going to hit their wide open shots. That's about it. And But Artis' release might even be a little better than Eaton's, even though I think his three-ball rating is a couple points lower, but not by a significant margin. Um, honestly, I love Artis' release, and I'm more comfortable with him than Eaton. So for me personally, I'm probably starting Artis, benching Eaton, and cutting Arvidas. But honestly, you could flip those two if you want. Either way, those should be your bigs, and you should take Arvidas out the lineup. Rod, Iggy, and Clyde. Like I said earlier, I think that this might be the same dude. No, I think this is somebody else. No, this is Iggy. I'm sorry. Different card. Clyde, Ron, and Iggy. I would start Ron and bench Clyde at shooting guard or just bring Clyde and Ron together, one and the two, and then you can bring Iggy off the bench if you need another shooting guard. You can put Ron at the three if you want. Like, there's a lot of flexibility that you can do with your lineup. So I do think Clyde, Iggy is the worst of these three, though, to answer that question. Dark Matter Curry, Opal Drew, and Opal Corver. Ah, uh, what? This is strange because this is that's two point guards and a shooting guard. At the shooting guard position, Corver is the best of those three. Uh, at the point guard position, I personally would run Drew over Curry. I think he's a little more athletic than Curry as a slasher, and I think he's bigger and better defensively. So for me, I'm starting Drew at point guard, and then I'm starting Corver at shooting guard, and I'm taking Curry out of the lineup if at all possible. There's guys like SGA, Gilbert, Eddie Jones, etc., even Clyde, who are all better than Dark Matter Curry. Um, Hakeem, Artis, and Arvidas. I'm starting Artis at center. I'm probably putting Hakeem at power forward, but if you need him at center, he could be your backup center, and then Arvidas gets cut. Uh, I like Akeem a little more at power forward than at center at this point, especially with cards like uh, Dikembe Mutombo about to drop as well. That'll give you guys like Dikembe and Artis for free. Uh, or not for free, because Artis isn't technically free, but has non-gambling center options. Um, I don't like Arvidas that much. His release is not that great, and he's only mid-70 speed. Terry, Amari, and Peja slash Tyrus. That's four power small forwards. I'm starting Peja personally out of these. No, Terry and Peja are so close. That's the thing. If you have extra badges on Terry, maybe you start Terry. But as base cards, I think I lean Peja. Honestly, though, it's really close because Terry's a better shot creator with the better release. Peja is, I think, a little bit better, though, defensively probably, is with his size, maybe. And um, also, just his release is phenomenal as well. And he's 6'10". Uh, either way, they're both really good cards. 
I think you play Terry and Peja, and then you cut Amari and Ty Tyrus. That's what I'll say. Between Terry and Peja, I really do believe it's opinion, though. Um, and that is the final suggestion, final comment of this video. So about a 10-minute video. I hope y'all did enjoy this episode of Start Bench Cut. Hope it didn't answer most of y'all's questions. And if so, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. Not sure if I'll do an episode of this next week or not. We'll see. If this video does well, I probably will. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.